Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I don't know if you guys have heard or not, if you follow the news or if you're on social media, but recently we lost a legend, I guess you could say. No, not I guess. We can't say. He was a legend. <laughs> if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I am talking about Kobe Bryant. That's right. He has passed away recently. A few days ago, he died in his plane with his daughter along with other passengers, which I believe was another family, and the pilot and a coach of some sort. And before I continue on, I do feel just as bad about everybody else who was on that plane, so don't try to come and attack me. But I am talking about Kobe right now because growing up, my family and I would always watch Laker games. It was honestly a tradition. We would go to my aunt's house, we would have a barbecue, and we would just put the game on and just cheer them on, cheer Kobe on with his badass playing. Like, we were all for Kobe. We have followed him for what seems like forever. Um, so when we got the news that he passed away, we were in complete shock. I found out at work... I was ringing up a customer, she was on the phone with somebody, and as I was like scanning her items, she just blurts out, Did, can you believe Kobe is dead? And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, Kobe died. And I was like, Kobe Bryant is dead? How, what? That can't be. So I was in denial, I guess you can say, I was like, that has to be fake, you know, Kobe can't be dead. Like no you know she's like yeah it's blowing up it's all over this and this happened with the plane and he's gone and i'm just like no so so as soon as i finished my shift i went online and yeah it was blowing up all over facebook all over social media and my dad and my mom picked me up from work so i really really needed to tell my dad so as soon as i got in the car i told him kobe is dead and he reacted the same way that I did. He was in shock. He couldn't believe it. He's like, it has to be a hoax. Like, this can't be real. We're talking about Kobe here. And I was like, that's exactly what I said. But it is blowing up all over. Like, it, it has to be true, you know? And then my brother ended up calling my dad. And my uncle called my dad. Because we know that my dad is a diehard Lakers fan. We know he is an all-time Kobe Bryant fan. So, you know, we were all trying to get the news to him. And... My dad got a knot in his throat. My heart dropped when I heard it. My mom also got a knot in her throat. Like, we all just could not believe it. Like, though we didn't know Kobe personally, we followed him for a long time. So it felt like he was well known to us. Like, he was family. It really, really hit us. Like, Kobe Bryant fans out there, you guys will completely understand. And it even hurt us more when they announced that his daughter was with him. Like, poor Gigi and poor Kobe. Never did we ever imagine that we would hear that Kobe Bryant passed away and his daughter. Like that was crazy. It was a crazy day for us. We had the news on all day just listening to any updates and things like that. Like it's so, so sad. Like never would you imagine. So today we're gonna go to the Staples Center to pay our respects to Kobe and to Gianna. The day that Kobe passed away with Gianna, I was already thinking like it'd be nice to go to the Staples Center and just be there and just pay our respects. And then yesterday when I got out of work, my dad mentioned to me that he wanted to go to the Staples Center to do the same. So I was like, wow, like then that it's perfect like let's do it i really really want to do that so staple center it is and um yeah that's basically what's happening right now <laughs> so all together it's my dad my mom me and orion that are going to the staple center i'm still in shock man like a few days later and it's still shocking to know that we lost kobe bryant and gianna and so many others it's just crazy and my condolences go to all the families that have lost somebody like it's so sad i can't believe it like whoa you know okay guys i went inside real quick to take my vitamins and what it said today literally made me think of kobe it says, keep up your momentum by making your goals easy to accomplish. Try breaking them up into smaller goals you can hit throughout the day. And it reminded me of Kobe because Kobe was all about dedication. He was all about putting in that hard work 
and reaching his goals throughout life and throughout the Laker team. It was just a really good saying today. I don't, wow, I don't know. I just thought I'd share that with you guys real quick. <laughs> okay, now we can go. obviously been quite some time honestly it is let me check the time real quick it oh okay so it's currently 10 26 um i just got home from work literally right now but i just wanted to go ahead and end the video right here because it is over so we left stable center and basically went straight to work after that because i had to go in at four and um, yeah, here we are. So while we were there, my dad and I went ahead and got some shirts and we actually got some matching shirts. So we got this shirt. It says, heroes come and go, legends live forever, which is true. And then on the bottom it says, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. And it has his year, birth and deceased. So there's that. There's nothing on the back, it's just a plain black t-shirt. I really really loved it. I love that it showed his younger side and his older side. I thought it was pretty cool doing the whole duo thing. But um, yeah, overall everything was really pretty. It was inspirational to see how many people just like worship Kobe Bryant. Like it was so beautiful. There were people crying, there were people, you know, smiling, all this stuff. So yeah it was a pretty good experience going to something like that i've never been to something like that before so that's basically going to conclude today's video i want to thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up i would really appreciate that give this video a thumbs up for kobe bryant don't forget to comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when i post and don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not so entertaining life and my channel's life i love each and every single one of you and i will see you all in my next video Bye, Mamba out.